beautiful beings, wherever you are, welcome into, yeah, my Facebook Live sanctuary. Man, just to come and do a live takes so much unnecessary preparation that I'm waiting for this day to to truly just um, to show up no matter what I have forgotten whether it's my airpods or my phone is dying and I have to go get a charger um, whatever else I need so yeah I come to you today and um, whenever you listen to this please let me know that you're here um, say hello because you will be seeing me a lot more for the next um, 20 days 20 more days so yesterday I and um, about 45 maybe less I don't know if everyone is committed to this but we are in um, we were challenged by our beautiful mentor Sophia Tom of Temple Body Arts School which I have been um, mentee of for the past two years um, hey Stacy how are you I love so we have been challenged by Sophia to create a devotional 21 day uh, live um, whether it's Facebook or Instagram or YouTube wherever we are um, to show up and to show up in in the devotion to show up in our devotion to what we stand for to what we believe in to express whatever it is that comes through us to be expressed to share um, about temple body arts or whatever it is in our lives that is igniting our path and that is feeling alive thank you stacy it's an angel's angel tree um i can't really show you <laughs> but anyway um i will be here with you every day for the next 20 more days and I began this yesterday and I shared a, a video on my personal page but I began my live inside one of my um, private groups uh, the lioness portal a group to um, activate all kinds of challenges so that's not even the point hey love why do people call me when I'm on a live like don't they know so today um, I'm going to make it a little short oh my gosh Stacy yes thank you and I feel the same like how lucky and blessed is is anyone who gets to be part of all of our temple body arts shares and voices so this 21 day challenge is to truly show up in devotion in devotion to our not our but the wisdom that flows through us this music with the um, I chose um, music of cathedrals and forgotten temples one hour atmospheric choir mix it sounds really devotional and perfect for what I'm doing <laughs> so yeah, I am going to listen every day to what wants to come through, to what transmission wants to be revealed for myself and for wherever and whoever I'm speaking to. Um, I am devoted and I am going to simply just state my intention for this next 21 day um, practice that we're doing. My intention is to show up in my fullness and to bring forth the transmission of my purpose work. 
of my divinely guided life to be the beacon of light to be the guide through the darkness to be a teacher also always a student and most importantly to be the goddess energy of the divine god universe divine source higher consciousness and my own highest self my most um, my innermost highest self coming from that deep place of love and the highest vibration of of the divine love rooted in my soul work co-creating with the divine through the flow of inspiration that I welcome in every day of my life to listen and to act with the divine guidance every step of the way to open my heart and to show my heart vulnerably with confidence knowing that I am worthy to be seen in my openness and vulnerability that it's okay to be vulnerable I'm here to speak the words of my truth the words that come through me in however way they want to be expressed to anyone who will come and listen trusting that the right people will come the right people will hear me the right people will be reawakened and reactivated to their own highest potential their own highest consciousness into their own deep inner knowing and understanding to show through me the things that may still be unseen for many of us, the things that are still hidden, the things that are, um, yeah, that are truly maybe are not ready to be seen by the masses and to support those many who um, have had their reawakening experiences with their visions, with their dreams, feeling into their purpose, that are needing the support through these unprecedented, incredible times that we're living through and we're going to continue live through them having the shocking experiences that we are not even expecting are coming into our lives and not only our own lives but into the world on a global level to stay open to stay worthy to remember that you're worthy and deserving and how you also can become that not become but to realize that you already are that divine channel of energy where everything is realigning and re um what's the word reappearing and revealing itself in our world of who we truly are because we have always been that inner true self except we may have been conditioned we may have been programmed we may have been um, time after time taught the things that we are not and for you and for me to see and understand all of life as the bigger picture the words that have not been yet spoken, the things that have not yet been seen, the hidden from all of us. And I'm here truly to remind you to not create any idols of any kind for yourself, but for you to remember that the idea of your evolution is to not find a savior outside of yourself 
but to truly find a savior within and to remember to not blindly follow and to not blindly believe everything that you see and everything that comes your way and to remember that you are the path and to remember that you are the way and the beginning of it all, the beginning of reawakening on the planet of humanity has only just begun. So tuning in to what it means to truly step into the role of who you were always meant to be. You, because nobody else can do this job but you. And to feel into what is tender, what is ignited, what are you passionate about, what, it, what hints are you receiving, and to listen, and to listen to your body, to learn to listen to your body, wherever you maybe are feeling these hints, whether it's in your head, in your, in your vision, in your third eye, whether you want to speak this, whether you feel this passion in your heart, this passion and um, strength and power and bravery in your gut, the flow of, of creative energy through your hips and really true grounded energy through your legs. That wholeness of who you are embodying yourself in the body that you're given to do the work of your soul to find that purpose to see your vision clearly and just do it and this is what I'm going to be doing for the next 20 more days wherever I am wherever I will be and if I'm not live on my personal page if I am live in a different group um, I will share it here and uh, hopefully some of you will benefit from whatever wisdom that you yourself receive from being in my space. So, thank you all for tuning in. Hi, Nicole. Thank you for being here. And let me know if you're here on replay. Hi, Sarah. So much love to all of you. I'm truly looking forward to this uh, devotion practice, temple body devotion. <sighs> yeah, that feels good. Thank you for being here. I'm sending you all so much love. And may all of our practices truly be offered for the benefit of all living beings. Many blessings. Hi, Fifi. I'm about to jump off, mm, sending peace, peace to all as these beautiful snowflakes are swirling around my head. May you all be blessed, at peace, in your deep inner knowing. Thank you for your precious time and energy. Many blessings.